The name of this movie is Last Tango in Paul's Bow, but it's really just a movie about a painting, and uh, despite the misleading title. Now, the painting is this one here. That's This is a painting I'd started in October, early October. I've been working on since then. I've been trying to solve the various problems that I've been running into with this painting. Now, uh, When we got to Paul's Bow, we found uh, a marina, it was blue sky. Blue skies, we all say it's a beautiful day when it's blue sky, but from an aesthetic point of view, it can be, blue skies can present a challenge, they can be boring. And I started painting this painting, I had only a small substrate to paint on because I had to take it to New Mexico, my parents' law, and it had to fit in the suitcase. So I, I thought I would just make it take out the hillside that's behind the bay in Paul's Bow and just put the boats in the fog. So I did, I painted this lineup of boats pretty ac the, as accurately as I could paint it. And then I put a tree swallow flying through the painting and it was about here. And, and that didn't work, it's always hard to paint a flying bird in any scene. I think uh, Lilifors even had trouble uh, no one's going to agree with me on that. That's a great Swedish wildlife artist who's long uh, passed on. But anyway, the swallow didn't work, so I put these two gadwalls in the painting. Now, uh, I thought I was going to get a Z curve by using the male's wing. He's preening here, and, uh, and I thought I could get a, uh, a motion going this way. That would create a Z curve, I thought, by create this, this line, then the, long, the, the strong line of the boats, and then the pilings would sort of Z up that way. So that was my hope. I, I also worked hard on the painting in the computer and I tried to, and I ended up trying to make the, the close water just a dark gray, almost colorless. And uh, I judged all this stuff to be a failure, all of, the, all of this part of the painting so I uh, got depressed about the painting for a day or so and then uh, my natural resiliency came well hopefully came back and I started over again and this is the where I'm at where we're at now not finished but maybe maybe it's, all life is full of intermediate endpoints maybe this is going to reach an intermediate endpoint what I decided to do was to make the, the gadwall much bigger and to have the female gadwall here create the S-curve. It's beyond the scope of this movie to talk about why you need an S-curve or Z-curve in every painting. I take that as a, as a simple fact, but it's a, it's, a for an, it's a subject for another day. But in any case, the female gadwall here is uh, it's a small object, but hopefully she commands enough authority to create the, the bottom uh, stroke of the Z because she's alive, she's engaged with a viewer, she's almost looking directly at you, and she's uh, warm colored and she's got this uh, sun hidden, uh, hidden their back here. So uh, she's creating a curve going this way, the, the strong line of the boats is going that way, and again, the piling uh, takes us up for the final, final hook back. But uh, this is where the painting's at now. I uh, have some problems up here that are just technical. I might even just worry about them when the computer get rid of that stuff. It's almost impossible to get rid of uh, paint uh, when it's on a substrate like this without covering it uh, for days and days because these, uh, these, these little marks like to stick around. And this is a, I use gator board. Uh, the surface of this paint is, is gator board. It's very hard. Creates some dripping problems. I see, see I've had some drip Paint, I'll paint the sky up here, then it drips down. But uh, anyway, that's the painting. It's on, uh, gonna be probably on sale on, by next Tuesday. I'll, I'll have probably a 12 by 16 version of this at the store. There's uh, bigger things, that's November 6, 2012, so there's probably bigger news in the world on, on Tuesday than that. But. Uh, if you come down to the Pike Place Market, you'll probably be able to pick up a copy of this. It's called Last Hango in Polsbo. 
that might be the name or it might not be the name because this boat here is called the Tango. All of these boats have kept their real names. This is the Island Wind, this is Five Girls, and uh, uh, I presume it's a pretty old boat. It's probably the last one, or else maybe these two Gadwall, maybe this is a tumultuous romance between these two uh, ducks, and that's our last tango. One, of the, one way or another, or else maybe I'll call it something really boring like uh, Gadwall and Paul's Bow Marina. But anyway, have a great one. Thanks very much. This is Ed Newbold for uh, Ed Newbold Wildlife Artist.